Hi guys, welcome back to SRE um, Customs. What we're going to go over today is some uh, basic porting, port timing uh, knowledge or, or I guess data and, and figure out and so you know what the numbers, changing the numbers, what they do. Okay, all right, so I just um, checked this cylinder over. This is a, a drag cylinder that I a five port that I used to use. I don't know how well you can see it. Um, put a little light on the subject. Um, you know, in there, it's a it's a uh, five port. Uh, well, take my take my <laughs> word for it. And um, what I would like to talk to you guys about is some porting numbers. So, um, first thing you do is you've got to find top dead center and uh, the way I do that with these small engines is it's so easy to do okay first you mount your degree wheel get your degree wheel on make yourself a pointer that uh, this is a paper clip I mean it's it's that easy um, next thing that you want to do is uh, secure uh, your cylinder down now you have to decide with a base gasket or without a base gasket. Um, I tend to go without a base gasket um, because most en engines that we have um, will, um, will clear and the squish on all of them are, are too, you know, too big, except for, I guess, the Roven 45. A couple of guys have taken the the base gaskets out of the Roven 45 and found out that um, that uh, the piston will touch the spark plug but if that happens just shim the plug guys it's it's I mean this stuff isn't rocket science you know what I mean um, it's really easy uh, to figure out um, if you can get your uh, cylinder to bolt on like it should and there's one, and now we'll do two. And uh, the reason why you're doing this is so um, the cylinder is at the right height and secure, so your numbers don't change. Um, I use, okay, there we go. Now, I'll turn this back for you. Okay, now what we'll check first is we have to find, uh, what we'll do first is find uh, top dead center. But the way I do it um, is I, with these small engines, is take something through the spark plug hole and push straight down all the way, piston all the way down. Now that's called bottom dead center. We both, we all know that. And then adjust your pointer to zero, as you see there. Then when you turn it, 180 degrees back to zero you're at TDC piston is at the top I mean that's how easy it is to find it guys with these small engines um, with V8s and stuff it's it's a lot harder but uh, oh, with this it's not so what I do is I take a flashlight and I put it in the spark plug hole like that and you turn the engine in the direction of rotation turn it turn it turn it there's the pissed ring oh there she cracked you see that come through okay you now back it up a little bit just right there let's let's call that what it is and then you come back to your degree wheel and you take a look at it now where are we at it opens at 98 degrees 97 degrees after TDC so I know it don't look like that on the camera but the perception is off so we end up getting, okay, and you always check over and over. Now, on any engine, I don't care 
what it is, two stroke. Um, if you open the exhaust port earlier than 100, especially with the small bore stuff, you're going to end up um, losing quite a bit of bottom end. Okay? Just so you guys know. Um, now, a good duration number, that means the time that the port is open, the duration that the port is open, you, uh, on most uh, engines for RC cars, you can get, uh, you know, you, you can get, you want them to turn a lot of RPM. You want a broad RPM range. So, I go from like anywhere from 175 to 190. Um, any more than 190, and uh, you're going to end up with uh, something that you got to throw in the waste paper basket. Uh, okay, now, you've heard a term called blowdown. That is the... the uh, the duration that the exhaust port is open prior to the transfers opening. Now, for all you guys that are watching this video, that are learning from this video, you shouldn't be messing with transfer ports. Leave them alone. The roof, don't touch them. You want them all to exit as they're cut because they need to exit uniformly. Uh, so leave them alone. Now let's talk about the intake. Now, the intake, you measured the exhaust off of after top dead center. You're going to measure the intake after bottom dead center. So we'll turn our degree wheel to zero it out at bottom dead center. Back on zero. The piston is all the way down now. So, again... I rotate the degree wheel in the direction of rotation. Comes up, comes up, coming up, and oh, I'll put a little light on the subject for you guys. Let's see if we can get anything, see anything better. Okay, now you can see that the Skirt is open. We'll bring it down, bring it down, bring it down. Right about there. And we look at our degree wheel. And I know that my camera setting, I'm new to this whole thing. You'll have to excuse me. But the intake opens 100 degrees after bottom dead center. And the duration is 166. Now, on this particular engine. You find the duration the same way that you find the exhaust duration. It's just the time that the port is open. Okay. Um, now, 166 is a little, quite a bit of intake duration. On the smaller engines, um, you want to stick. Boy, I don't know. Um, I'll tell you what I do. I do my Mod 36. Uh, I do at 165. That'll tell you something. Um, with a squish, with a squish of eighteen. Okay, I don't want to get too long-winded on this video, but uh, check back in again at uh, SC, uh, SRE Customs, and I'll be showing you um, um, how to uh, cut your reed ports and um, for reed porting and how to do the floor of the intake port. Okay. All right, guys. SRE out. I hope you guys enjoy this video, and please subscribe. Thanks a lot.